Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Git on uh, in Windows 11. So before downloading Git, let's check whether we have already Git installed in our machine. For that, uh, open the uh, CMD or command line. Uh, so in run write CMD or you can search um, here CMD uh, and the command line will open. Here we write git, uh, it says git is not recognized, uh, so we don't have git installed in our machine. So what basically git is, git is the most popular version control system. Uh, it's used by almost all uh, tech companies and software engineers. So what do we mean by version control system? Uh, basically it records the changes made to our uh, code or uh, software over time we can track the changes uh, in our software development who made the changes and what time and if we made a mistake in uh, our software development process we can revert back to the previous version so basically it uh, records the different versions of our system if we didn't have git so we we would have do it manually by taking copies of our project over the time and manually merge that and uh, also it would be difficult to work in a group uh, and do everything manually so git is a, a, a nice tool uh, for the software developers to work as a team and um, uh, share codes and merge co codes together so uh, let's go and download git so we are going to open our browser and here we are going to write uh, git so uh, open this git uh, scm.com and here we can see the latest version of uh, git as of now we have 2.39.0 so since i am using windows it automatically detect that i have a windows operating system and it says download for windows so i'm going to click this one it's going to download uh, the git for us so here we are going to use our uh, uh, select our uh, operating system uh, since I'm using 64-bit um, uh, I'm going to download the 64-bit version of the git so the download has started uh, once it is uh, finished I'm going to click on on the dot exe file to uh, start the installation process uh, as we can see it is a 50 mbs file so it's going to take a little while to download so our download is finished i'm going to click on uh, the executable file yes it's going to start the uh, installation process so I'm going to click next this is going to be the location where the gate will be installed in our computer if you guys uh, like if you guys want to change the location so you can uh, click on browse and select a different folder I'm going to leave it as default I'm not going to change uh, the default settings so everything is next next so we're not going to touch the defaults uh, settings so here we can uh, use the edit uh, editor uh, so I would like to uh, select Visual Studio Code as our default editor. Uh, if you guys uh, don't have Visual Studio Code, you can select Notepad or leave it as default. Notepad++. So I'm going to use uh, Visual Studio Code uh, next. Um, this is uh, let get decide. So when we make our uh, first repository, the main branch is going to be name master if we want to change that the the main branch we can select uh, he, here and give it a main or another branch so i'm i'm going to leave it uh, as default so it's, this is going to be default as well next 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 install so it's going to install our git on our machine okay so launch git bash so what is git bash uh, git bash is uh, uh, 
it's, it's, it's a software for Windows. It provides a bash emulation used to run Git from command line. We have Git GUIs to uh, uh, interact with Git. We have some uh, GUI applications to work with Git uh, using graphical uh, interfaces. But uh, right now, uh, we are going to use Git bash, which is a command line uh, to interact with Git. So let's write Git here we can see that this git command is uh recognized if we write git uh, git version so we can see that our we have the git version 2.39.0 when uh, version of git so next we are going to set our global username and email configuration for that we are going to write git uh, config minus minus global uh, user dot name and we put our username or our name inside the double quotation so I'm going to write my name and enter then we are going to uh, configure our email we uh, write git uh, config minus minus global uh, user dot email user dot email and inside the double code we provide our email address uh, our git uh, is configured in our windows machine uh, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video bye bye